I'm Billy Foster, and I'm that iPad guy. Called that because I've always got an iPad with me, and in some cases, two. Today we're going to be talking about Amazon Prime. You might be wondering, what is Amazon Prime? Amazon Prime is a membership fee for $79 a year, which provides you with additional services from Amazon. For example, you get free two-day shipping on millions of items with no minimum order size. You're also allowed to access unlimited instant streaming of thousands of movies and TV shows from the Prime Instant Video Library. And a feature that I use the least but is available is the ability Ability to borrow a book for free each month from the Kindle's owner's lending library. First, zeroing in on the two-day shipping, and in some cases, next-day shipping. This is, of course, really the heart and core of why most people would sign up for Amazon Prime. I'm cheap. Okay, well, I like to keep things cost-effective. I don't mind paying for a service as long as I feel that it's a win-win situation. And with Amazon Prime, I really feel that you get your dollar's worth if you order a lot. And I do, way more than I realized. You see, being cost-effective meant prior to Amazon Prime, I would save up until I was over the minimum amount to make sure that I could get my free shipping. And even though it would take about a week or so after to get said order, I'd just wait. Now, with no minimum order and the quick turnaround time, I'm getting things sent to me that I wouldn't have thought I'd have shipped simply because I just don't have to worry about dealing with traffic, people, or currently the heat here in Phoenix. Now, I'm not going to say that candy coat this and say the service is the most amazing life-changing experience I've ever had, but I will say that I have been pleasantly surprised when I placed an order on Monday morning and by Tuesday afternoon I had the item in hand. This isn't always the case. The idea being that two-day shipping is that it's two days once the item's in Amazon's hand. So when I went to order my drop cam, I still had to wait the month until drop cam could get the actual camera to Amazon and then get it to me as soon as possible. And while you're searching for products, you of course need to check for the ones that are labeled Prime. And that does offer a filter system so that you can see just the prime items, which makes it nice uh, when you want to get just freely shipped items. I haven't noticed much in any way of price difference between the items that qualify for prime and those that do not. Generally, the ones that do not qualify end up charging a separate shipping fee that ends up putting it more than the Amazon price anyway. And unless I really need the item, I try and avoid that. Now, if you really, really need something, there is the option of getting the one-day shipping for an additional $3.99 per item. But as I mentioned, I've been pleasantly surprised, and I didn't have to pay anything extra and got my item the next day when I ordered early enough on Monday. Now, that might be because I've heard we've got a decent-sized shipping and storage facility around here. So these delivery times might be different in more rural areas. Another perk to the shipping that I didn't realize when I purchased access to Amazon Prime is the added benefit of two-day shipping extends out to gifts that you purchase for others. So when I purchased a present for a coworker of mine and had it sent directly from Amazon, it reached them on time even though I was a little late. Now, it's obvious that Amazon is working very hard to be the leader on online retailing and this almost warehouse club membership fee was a little put off at first until I started using it. And in my experience, my, I'm getting more from my Amazon Prime account than I ever did with a warehouse membership. Simply because not only are you getting the shipping benefits, but you also get access to thousands of movies and TV shows in the Amazon Prime library. This library can be accessed through a variety of devices like PlayStation 3, the Roku box, uh, internet connected TV, Google TV, and of course the Kindle Fire. Now these aren't the most current titles and it's almost on par with Netflix's catalog. But again, this is a service that's added to your membership. So it's not costing you anything more above the $79 you've already spent to get the shipping. So it's worth noting that the devices that can stream get access to the service. So if you've got a TiVo that has to pull down a copy of the movie, you cannot access the Prime Library.
I just don't see anyone signing up for Amazon Prime just for the Prime library aspect, but I will say it was a bit of a tipping point for me to go ahead and give the service a try. I figured at worst case, I'd at least have access to that instant video library way cheaper than Netflix. The quality Amazon streaming service is right on par with Netflix. I haven't seen any heavy artifacting or issues with pausing, skipping, or dropouts. Of course, the only drawback to Amazon's video-on-demand library is that I can't access it from my iPhone or my iPad. The only way I can watch the Amazon Prime library while I'm on the road is to take my Kindle Fire or watch on my laptop. There's also the option to borrow a digital book from the Kindle Lending Library, but the selection there didn't really appeal to me, so there wasn't much use of that on my system. Also, you can only borrow one book a month at a time, and since the first book didn't keep my attention, I didn't go back for a second. However, more recently, they have been editions of Harry Potter, and I even noticed The Hunger Games, so maybe I'll go back and explore that a little bit more. So should you get Amazon Prime? Well, that depends. If you typically hit the corporate box stores, then I suggest price checking those stores to Amazon. And if they're going to give you the same price, I'm typically going to go to Amazon. However, if there's something I usually go to a local small business for, I keep going there. I've come to the conclusion that if the big box stores can't hire and train people to help me, then I, and I've got to pretty much be self-service, why should I bother to go to their store? Well, I also admit that... Um, <clears throat> Also, I will admit to keeping my Amazon purchases to things I don't mind either not returning or not needing to return quickly. I can't see myself buying a 56-inch LED 3D TV from there yet, but I could see myself going to the store, getting annoyed by a salesperson, then going home and buying it. Uh, but I still need that real-world look and feel experience that you just can't get online. On a final note, I'd also like to express how impressed I am with Amazon's overall as a company. Even beyond the Amazon Prime experience, in a whole, I get a feeling that Amazon knows that it's changing the traditional shopping experience, and in that battle, they're going to have to raise the bar of customer service since that's the only personal interface the company has with its clients beyond the website. I was still a kid when the Sears catalog was the way to shop, so I liken this to a resurgence of of mail order, but with Amazon's drive and high level of customer service, I can see how they've become the king of the hill in shopping online. Just a quick addendum, as you can tell, obviously this is recorded at a different time since I've cut my hair, shaved my face, and got a different shirt on, but I wanted to let you know that I did try Amazon's same day shipping. There was an opportunity where we were able to buy a pump and it said $3.99 to get it the same day. We thought, what the heck, we'd give it a shot. And oh my gosh, it came by 3 o'clock that same day. So that is an additional service that comes with the Amazon Prime on top of the fee you've already paid. So you pay your $79.99, you get your same or your two-day shipping free. But then if there's an item that is available for same-day shipping, it's $3.99 per item. And since we were just getting the one item, we gave it a shot. And it came the same day, I have to say. Very, very impressive. Good job, Amazon. Anyways, this is Billy Foster. I'm the iPad Guy. I'll talk to you next week. Thanks for watching. Did I do that?